year and a half to two years are really going to be an unfolding story as to the, the shape of the Rappahannock. It's a completely new river and, it's, and really every day the river changes just a little bit more as all the accumulated sediment behind the dam, some of that wasn't removed, shifts around, changes, gets washed away. Um, and so the ultimate fate of the river and what it's going to look like is still somewhat unknown and we really will, time will only tell. Well, the biggest thing to be revealed from the, uh, the breaching of the dam was the 1854-1855 crib dam that had been buried under the water and the, and the mud for, for so many years and it's remarkably intact. The, the crib dam beams, uh, which date the, some of the wood which date back to the early 1700s, are very well preserved. The top several feet of that is sticking out of the sediment with quite a, a, a good 10, 12, maybe even 15 feet of it still buried underneath this largely sand and clay deposits that, that sit behind the dam. That will be excavated uh, after the, ar the archaeology uh, component is done over the next several months. One of the first things um, we've seen is that the, the historical channel of the river has been restored. Uh, we found seven new rapids back behind the dam now, uh, and more may be revealed as, the, as that river cu down cuts a little bit. Uh, a fairly straight channel between I-95 and, and, the, and the dam. Once the rest of the dam comes down, however, um, a lot of that could shift around because the river is a very dynamic place.